I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Risk. When it was created, it introduced a new and exciting style of board game with a small learning curve, but I don't think it's aged very well, and there are more cons than pros. Shogun is a Risk-like that I prefer over the original. But does it make up for all that Risk lacks? Let's find out. Risk is a notoriously long game, lasting at least a few hours. This is because the goal is total world domination, so wiping every enemy unit off the map can take a while. A long game in and of itself is not a bad thing, unless you combine it with the following. A small number of options, player elimination, and long wait time between turns. There is one goal in the original game of Risk. World domination. There is one means of achieving that goal. Amass the biggest army and steamroll your opponents. There is one way to acquire a bigger army. Take over and control more territories. This limits a player's options and takes away any subtlety a player may have. As your opponent, I know your goal is to destroy my territories, so I'll fortify the ones closest to you, and there's no alternative to brute forcing your way through. Therefore, the result is often frustratingly left to the dice. Shogun is all about offering players options. The first of the nine actions of a turn is planning where you spend money earned from the previous round. This money can be spent to determine turn order, fortify friendly provinces, hire one of four different unit types, send mercenaries to provinces undetectable by your opponent, or hire a ninja who can either assassinate key units or spy on enemy plans. The four different units have different levels of power and sequence of attack. The game also features army cards whose commanders gain experience and become stronger and can be used in unique ways. While powerful, you can also be eliminated from the game if your three army commanders and their forces are destroyed, so careful planning must be used. With so many different options afforded to the player, it's hard for an opponent to guess and counter your actions. Whereas in Risk, your opponent's actions can almost always be deduced. Player elimination isn't a bad thing if games can be reset quickly. However, if your armies are wiped out in a stroke of bad luck after half an hour and the game lasts three hours, this isn't good for anyone, and this could easily happen in Risk. In Shogun, the goal is to control a majority of the provinces of feudal Japan, 35 of the 68 total. Because of this, it's entirely possible and even likely that every player will still be in the game once someone has achieved victory. Unlike Risk, players can't just dump all their units into one territory and sweep across the world map. Only one unit can be placed in a province at a time, and each provincial force can only attack once per turn, meaning players have more time to recoup from their losses and have a fighting chance. There are three phases to each player's turn in Risk. Troop placement, attacking, and troop movement. Only in the attack phase are other players involved, and then only one at a time. When players have a large army to deal with and lots of dice to roll, turns can seemingly stretch on forever. The forever. The forever. In Shogun, there are nine actions in a turn, and each of them happens simultaneously, with the exception of the attack action. In this department, Shogun regrettably suffers from nearly the same wait time as Risk. Since Risk has a low skill floor, working out specific rules and game mechanics doesn't bog down playtime. However, for inexperienced Shogun players, the number of options a player has and edge cases in the rulebook can make for too much reading when becoming familiar with the game, which, as a game developer, is the time you want the players to become hooked. Games of Shogun usually last longer than Risk, but for me, the depth of strategy outweighs the bigger time commitment. In most ways, I believe Shogun to be an improvement of its predecessor. Do you agree with our criticisms of Risk, or are they unfair? Is there another similar game you prefer over these two? Let us know in the comments section. Hit subscribe to see more content like this. We're Games Explained.